When I got home from a ride, I noticed that one of my exhaust bolts was missing. And uh, when I took a closer look, not sure how well you can see it, but uh, realized the threads inside there are stripped inside the case. And I've had trouble with both of those for a while. This one here and this one here where your exhaust mounts up. So I figured I'd fix them today with a uh, time cert and show you how that's done. Here's a look at the time cert kit. And it's an alternative to the more popular helicoil. And uh, helicoil is this little coil of wire basically. You'll drill a hole, it usually comes with a tap. And uh, then you tap it out and it's a size larger than what your bolt is. You tap it out, you use this tool that grips onto this, uh, this piece down here. And you thread it into the hole and then once it's threaded into the hole, then your bolt or whatever will thread into the helicoil. The problem with those is they tend to come out and fail a lot of times. Instead of using these coiled up wires, these helicoils, the time cert kit uses a solid insert. And just like a helicoil, it's, you drill the hole larger and it's got threads on the outside as you can see. You'll tap and thread this in and then it's got threads on the inside which you probably can't see on here but it's got threads on the inside that are the size you're actually tapping for, the bolt size that you want. And where they're a solid piece and they lock into place, they tend to fail less than the helicoil. Probably the biggest setback is that they're more expensive, a lot more expensive than buying a helicoil kit at your local uh, AutoZone or Advance or whatever parts store. But uh, usually you get instructions obviously. You'll get your inserts. This is just two, some of them come with a lot more than that. Uh, you get a drill bit, a counter bore, a tap, and then an insert driver, and also this oil that you use when you uh, use the driver. Some of the kits may come with this stuff, but mine didn't, so just before I start I wanted to mention you'll need a way to uh, screw in the taps and whatnot. This is just a regular tap driver, I guess you'd call it. Comes with a tap and die set usually. If you don't have a tap and die set, I'm sure you can pick one up at a local hardware store or something like that. And if you're in tight spots, you can't usually get this thing around. They do sell 90 degree versions of this. And the other option is just to use a wrench. The only problem with wrenches, you have to be really careful. It's a little harder to keep them straight sometimes. To start out, you'll want to use the drill bit that they supplied with the kit uh, to drill out the hole. No matter what you use, whether it's an electric drill or drilling by hand, you'll want to make sure you stay very straight with a hole. Once you get the holes drilled, then you'll want to switch over to your counter bore bit. I'm just using this in electric drill again. And uh, you basically just drill until it stops. It's just going to create a little taper in there. Once that's done, you can see in there, hopefully you can see in there if this thing will focus, there's a little lip, a little edge, and that's what stops the uh, time cert from going any further into the hole. It gives it a place to seat. Once you've drilled and counterbored, you're going to want to move on to tapping the uh, threads for the time cert to thread into. And this part you'll definitely want to do by hand. Like I said, you're going to use one of these, uh, a handle like this if you're able to spin the whole thing or you can use wrenches or a 90 degree handle and you gotta remember to keep everything very straight when you're doing the, the threads when you're tapping the threads you want to keep this as straight as possible With the next hole that I've got a thread, I'm not going to be able to fit the, uh, the driver in there because it'll run into my frame. So I'm going to use a wrench. Uh, it's just a 930 seconds for the tap I happen to have here. And you just got to be very careful getting it started and 
making sure you're going straight in there. And sometimes when you're just using a wrench, it can be really hard to get it started. Depending on how much space you've got, you may be able to take this tap handle and put it on there and go to wherever it hits the frame, take it off and then put it back on and get another part of a turn and do it that way. But I'm just going to go with a wrench. And again, be very careful, get it as straight as you can. Sometimes it's really hard to start, sometimes it's not too bad. Once you get the holes tapped, make sure you blow them out with some compressed air. Get all the uh, aluminum or whatever filings out of there. And then you're going to want to start your time cert. And you'll notice one end should have a, this end should have a flare on it, which is what seats against that little lip that you counterboard in there earlier. So make sure that that is out. And it's not necessary with these, but I like to use a little, uh, red thread locker on them just to make sure they stay put and you want to start them off by hand just get them started in the threads by hand once you've got the time search started then you're going to need to use this uh, driver that they supply and put a little of the driver oil on the threads of it again you're going to have to use either a wrench or a tap driver to uh, screw this in. And that should just thread in until it seats against that counter bore. And once it seats, this thing will uh, actually expand part of the time cert insert to uh, lock it into place. And then you can unthread it and it should stay in there. So then I'll just need to repeat this for the top one. And I'll have uh, two new threads. And my camera won't. So that's all it takes to install a time cert and repair your threads. Um, if you use a thread locker like I did, even though it really shouldn't matter because the time cert locks itself into place, you may want to refer to the directions on whatever thread locker you use and give it time to set up. Uh, more or less just as an extra backup security whatever and uh, that should be it it should be ready to install whatever you've got to do thread your bolts in there once that's set up there you go